plaintiff, Star Spirol, says the defendant is her daughter, and she's been addicted to opiates and meth since the age of 17. Star is desperate for the defendant to get some help, especially since she has a nine-year-old daughter, and she's suing her today for an unpaid loan. Defendant Brittany Spirol says when she was a child, Star was an alcoholic, and she ended up leaving Brittany's father after she had an affair. Brittany's countersuing her mother for the cost of a car. Start with you. Your Honor, this is my daughter that I love very dearly. She's been in and out of trouble. She's been 17 years old. I'm very concerned. She does have a nine-year-old daughter. Um, she does have drug alcohol problem. I'm here. I need help for her. I'm sorry you that it has help? to come to this. Yes, sir. Good. We get us some help. <laughs> Good. We'll get us some help. Mm -hmm. You say she's been troubled since childhood. What type of troubles? And why do you think she's been troubled? Couple DUIs. Um, drugs. A lot of arrest. I do have. Uh, what type of drugs? Opiates. Starting at meth. what age? Meth, excuse Was starting me? at what age? About the age of 17. And unfortunately, Your Honor, she blames me for everything. That's There's what I'm saying. What is the cause? She says the cause I is don't what? Know. What does she say the cause is? You she do never know what me. she says. She never told me why. You just told me she blames you. I have stuff here that she blames me for her drug addiction. Okay, let me hear from you, ma'am. Um, my mom decided to pack up leave she had an alcohol problem i grew up with her throwing is this the thing she doesn't want to tell me these are the I don't, things i, I don't know but she was violent towards my, my dad to she left my dad because she had an affair um so she had an alcohol problem she's had duis i wonder if she didn't want to tell me all that now the unpaid loan let's get to that um in february 2019 um she was in she was incarcerated um, my witness here, which is her younger sister, had to file her income tax while she was incarcerated. Um, they used my, she used my bank information, uh, to have it go into my banking account. Well, it got rejected because Brittany was not on my account. So in return, she knew that her check was going to take longer for it to come. So me being the mother that I am, I went to my bank and I took out a loan of $5,200. I gave her $5,000 of that $100 bills. In return, I have all the proof here that when she got her income tax check that she was also supposed to- You have to proof that you weren't gonna get paid. That's what you correct. have proof of. Your Honor, this is my daughter that I love very dearly. She's been in and out of trouble since she's been 17 years old. She does have drug alcohol problem. I'm here, I need help for her. Defendant Brittany Spirol is being sued by her mother, who claims Brittany has been addicted to meth and opiates since the age of 17. When was she to pay it all off? What, year and date? She just said when she got her income tax. This is the same woman while I'm incarcerated wants me to sign over financial a financial paper because mm -hmm. she was worried about her money while I'm sitting in jail, but yet she cares about me. And this is the little, this she is the She can do sister. both. She can care about you and want her money. She doesn't care. Now, do you owe her 5,000 or not? No, you tell she, me about that. I never that. asked her for the money. She showed up. Did you ever tell her you would pay a her? After they took care of my you daughter. Did? Yeah, after you okay, said Okay, after, before, as long as you said it. All right. You but, admit that you said it. Now, your counterclaim for $2,550 for the cost of a car. How does she owe you? Um, I had a suspended license, so my mom put the car in her name. Um, when I got when? out of... I'm sorry? When? October of 2018. Okay. 18, she put it in her name on your I behalf. I have the messages through mm -hmm. Facebook of the guy that I bought the car from. Mm-hmm. Me thinking, it's my mom, I never put my name on the title. I got out of jail um, and I came home to my house completely gone through. I'm talking about lingerie, cut coat knives, my car, everything was stolen, everything. 
I know I'm a drug addict, but I'm not the type of drug addict to work hard for something and sell it. You know, $500 worth of Cutco knives, I was proud of. Do you of. think she came in and took them? She was involved in it because she What do you is think the, one, the motive it was? It was my little sister that did it. You think the motive was robbery? I think they took everything to make me hit rock bottom. Okay. And uh, did you? I'm at rock bottom, yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, tell me how she owes for the car. Because it, I paid, it's my car. Okay. I, how is it fair that she takes All something right. that's mine? Yes. You take a car, and if so, did you pay for it? Your Honor, the car's in my name. Okay, did you pay for it? I did not Who pay paid for, the car. for the car. She didn't pay for it. Who her, paid for her it, man? Dad, her Who sugar paid daddy for paid for the car. Okay, I don't... for her, it was a gift to her from her sugar daddy? Mm -hmm. Then it was her car. And if it's her car, you owe her the fair market value of it, and she wants 2550 What year and make is it, ma'am? It's a 2008 Scion TC. Okay, and that sounds like a fair amount, 2550 I'm going to conclude the value of that car, as she suggests, and it sounds fair. With regard to your loan, $5,000, i will grant you that. She admits that she did agree to repay you. So um, what are you holding your hands up You're for? Your Honor, that's what, not... You want your witness to speak? Yes, please. Okay, the one that up. robbed me. State your name. And took my that's lingerie. Exactly. What do you want to tell me? That my mom has proof from... She didn't pay $2,300 for it. She didn't pay $2,500 Okay, for I'm going to conclude that that's based on what I heard. That's fair market value, whatever she paid for it. Remember, her sugar daddy gave it to her. So you all don't know how much was paid. Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff and judgment for the defendant. <laughs> I love you, Brittany. I'm sorry that it had to come to this. But right is right is wrong is wrong. And His also... right is stealing my car and making me have no transportation for a nine-year-old. Yeah, you're a great mother. But according... I don't even want to... I don't even want to listen to you. Oh, you're lying. Yes, it is. You frauded... You only paid $70 for Shut that. Shut the... <gasps> you frauded them and... I have nothing to say to you. They're actually going to come after you now. That's yes. fine. No, yeah. they're coming after you because it's in your name. <laughs> <laughs>